Hello, I'm Fred and this is Wood Tools Workshop. This video is part three in a series on building a clamping station. Previously we've cut all the parts to size and assembled the clamp head support. In this video we'll attach the clamp head support assembly to the platform, mount the platform on its four braces, and hang it on the wall using a French cleat. We'll also assemble and attach the vertical rails and the height adjustable clamp bar. To mount the assembly, I temporarily clamped a board to the platform at the right height to support the assembly. I clamped the assembly in place half an inch from the platform top and three quarters from its left side and screwed it in place from behind. I decided to use a French cleat to mount it to the wall. For the bracket I chose a piece of 1x8 poplar because that would give me room to have four screws into each wall stud. This project appeared in Shop Notes magazine issue number 62 in March 2002. I can't post the plans for it because they're copyrighted. But Shot Notes has provided an online cutting diagram which gives the dimensions of all the pieces. In the video description, I provided a link to that diagram as well as a list of needed hardware. A French cleat consists of a wall mounted bracket with a 45 degree angle cut on the top edge so that the lower end touches the wall and the upper end is on the front face of the bracket. A similar bracket with a 45 cut on the bottom edge interlocks with the wall cleat for a sturdy hanging method that leaves the hanging item removable simply by lifting it. By hanging the platform on the wall at this point and attaching everything else as it hangs, I avoid having to lift everything at once when it's finished. A 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter MDF weighs 96 pounds. The platform alone is half that, plus the support assembly and the braces. I didn't want to lift anything more. Three of the vertical rails have holes spaced evenly to hold the adjustable clamp bar. I made a jig to space them at one and a half inches, attached the three rails together, and drilled them all at once to be sure the holes were parallel. I actually wound up going higher with the holes than was necessary or useful, but no harm done. There are seven vertical rails that attach to the platform. Three of them, the three that we just drilled, have holes in them. Those three go on the left and right sides and in the middle. All of the rails have guides attached to them. Most of them have a guide on each side, but the left and right sides only have a guide on the inner side. So, we have to keep track of what we're putting where as far as these guides on the rails. The purpose of the rails and guides is to keep the clamp heads in place as they move up and down. 
The clamp head base fits between two rails and behind their attached guide strips, as you can see here. This rail goes on the left. It only has a guide on the inside. Since the guide strips are three quarters wide and the rail is one and a half wide, I used one of the guide strips as a spacer while I screwed the other one to the rail. This is the middle rail, it gets a guide on each side. for the rails will be the same as it is for the clamp head spaces. We come an inch and a half in to the center and then from that time on it's seven and a half inches to the center of each of these other ones. I drilled screw holes through the rails to mount them to the platform. As I placed them I drilled that hole on into the platform as well. I didn't show that because I figured you'd seen enough drilling for a while. That's good enough for now. How about that? What I did was start in one corner and work my way across and down measuring each time based on this one as the absolute. And as I measured I pulled a little bit and the other screws were in place so I pulled and it held and it straightened out like it was supposed to. The bar rail has two guides on either side of each of the vertical rails that have holes in them. The guides each get a hole too so that quick release pins can hold the bar rail in place. I used paper as a spacer so that the guides wouldn't be too tight against the vertical rail when I attached the bar. First drill the hole with a counter sink, then come back and set the screw. Now you take my word for it that I did all six of the guides this way and I won't ask you to watch, okay? This is a bar stiffener. It gives added strength to the bar rail. We're almost done. What remains now is to put the clamp face on the bar and assemble the clamp head apparatus. We'll do that in the final video of the series. If you like this video, hit like, share it, subscribe, leave me a comment. See you in the next video.